Welcome back, everybody. It's time for our morning talker. Oh my goodness, snow days. They are certainly piling up. The question is how to make them up. Joining us this morning are our friends over at Fun 107, Michael Rock, Lauren, and Larry. Thanks, guys, for joining us today. Good morning. Thank Hi, you. good morning. So, you know, these kids, they just did one snow day after another, and it, the first couple are fun. But then after that, the kids start to get nervous about what's going to happen to their vacation days. And I was trying to explain this to my kids <laughs> last night. I was like, you understand, you're going to go to school, just not tomorrow, but like, you're going to school at some point. Yeah, <laughs> right. You know, right. It's, it, I would rather go to school now than in June. Right, yep. exactly. Right. I well, it starts to run into that problem, too, that, you know, if it, they do go longer in the summer, then there's summer camps and then vacations and, mm -hmm. and all of that other planning. I mean, the same thing with any vacation. There are people who make these plans. Right. People right. have already booked trips for February and April vacations. So yeah. what happens then when you uh, start to eat into that a little bit? Yeah. You Saturday. wouldn't want me to run the show with this. I'd be canceling February vacation next week in a heartbeat. You would? That, you I would. would. Do that? They don't need a vacation now. They, I feel like my kids never went back from Christmas vacation. Exactly. <laughs> They've been off every Monday for three weeks. Yeah. Exactly. Wow. Yeah. Three right? day weekend. Because if you weekend. count, if you count Martin Luther yeah. King. Oh yeah. You know they've been off. Yeah. So, yeah. You're right. You're right. All right. Yeah. All right. Yeah. We're on a little lighter topic. So now we just ruined the kids. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Here's kids. a Valentine's Day idea. Maybe for an ex. All right. How about name a roach program? It's from the Bronx Zoo. For ten bucks, you can name a Madagascar hissing cockroach after someone. The money goes to the Wildlife oh, Conservation gosh. Society. No. You get a certificate and a beautiful glamour shot of the cockroach. The headline: Steal it with a hiss. A hiss. So, Lauren, not only do you get the cockroach, you get a certificate of authenticity. Oh, goody! <laughs> with a glamour shot. Is this somebody that you love, or oh, yeah, yeah. Lauren, someone to your you husband? You said you're an animal lover, Lauren. Uh, yeah. This is true. You got me there. Oh. Every little animal has a soul. <laughs> Even cockroaches. I mean, there's I nothing know. that says I really don't like you, <laughs> like sending somebody an adopted cockroach named right. after themselves, right? Do you get to, uh, is the, does the cockroach have the uh, option to write the, you know, those little candies that have those sayings on them? Can you do that on the cockroach? <laughs> oh, the conversation parts. <laughs> like conversation like parts. Like be mine. Yeah. <laughs> be mine. Forever. <laughs> Thinking of you. Too funny. <laughs> Please right, don't so step don't on me. Don't say we didn't give you any ideas for Valentine's <laughs> Day, guys, okay? Yeah, really. <laughs> All right, we'll see you guys on Thursday. Thanks. You got it. Good luck digging out. Yeah. <laughs>